Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm super excited to show you this DSP. It's gorgeous. In the catalog, if you can see right here, it's hard to see what it's all about. And in this suite called the Fancy Floral Suite, this is the DSP called Fancy Floral. And it looks like you're an artist. I mean, look at these colors, they're amazing. When I was working with this yesterday and just having fun with it, I was like, oh my goodness, no matter what you do with this, it looks amazing. This texture from the brush strokes and everything, it really lends itself with this painted texture 3D folder. You may already have this painted texture already in your stash but it's in our annual catalog. Been around for a couple of years, but this DSP is just coordinates with it amazingly. So I made these simple cards with those two, and I'm gonna show you how I cut just a six by six piece and paired it up with that. So let's go ahead and put together one of these cards. I'm just gonna take our trim, and I'm just gonna take two inches off the one side super simple and then cut that piece in half two inches and then take this at a three and cut that in half so i've got three pieces really okay so i'm gonna make three cards all right this i have the petal pink and oh look how amazing look at that it's so cool okay so i'm just gonna fold this over and then I'm gonna use our folder and I'm gonna show you how I use it. With the 3D folders and your stamp and cut in a Bosch machine, I'm gonna go ahead and just fold that over right to where the fold is. I'm gonna make my sandwich with the blue plate on the top. Look at that. Oh, just love that. And look how cool it looks with the DSP. So I'm gonna fold this over You've got to have this. It's just an amazing combination. Okay, so those two go together. Now I want to show you something. If you want to make this a little darker to pop, I'm going to go ahead and take tone on tone, the petal pink, and just a dauber, and I'm going to go ahead and start off first. And I'm going to go ahead and just rub it into where the definition is of the folder just the folds of the folder, and then you could see how it really puts the shadows on there. So if you want it darker, cool. And I've done some with it this way on my samples, and then I've done some without. So it's just depends on the look you want, but it really gives it that painted dimension on your folder. Okay, so I did that. And I'm gonna take this half a sheet and I'm just gonna put Calypso Coral right behind it. The colors in these, this whole DSP, oh, they're just so pretty. So I'm gonna make that a frame. So now you can either do it this way or this way, you can decide. I'm gonna go ahead and, I already have some of the fine shimmer paper pack that comes in, it comes in three different colors and it coordinates with this paper here too. Just love it and I'm just taking a one inch by two inch piece on each side and making that. Take some dimensionals and pop that up. These are just simple cards, you know, three pieces. Okay, we've got that and it doesn't really matter which way you decide to go if you want, oh, if I want it this way or that way. It's just, look at that with the cool folder. I mean, I mean it makes you look like you're an artist. Okay, I'm just going to take the Sane. I went ahead and used something fancy Sane set. And they do have dies to go with this, but I just wanted to make it simple. So I just cut them into the shapes of the Sane and it works out perfect. And we'll pop that up too. On this side. And of course, you've got to I love to use the bling on top. So the bling I'm gonna use is called the Iridescent Pastel Gems. And there's three different colors. You can tell I've used the whole thing. So I'm just gonna grab 
one of the big ones here and just kind of blop it on there and one of the smaller ones. And normally I would do three, but because I'm running out, I'm just gonna do the two. Or you could even put a different color one on there too. You can mix and match them. So that is the basic card, but let me show you the three cards that you can basically make with this because of the three different cuts you make. So the long strip and the two short strips. So look at this texture. That one is highlighted and this one's not. But they're both pretty how that they use that folder with, with this designer series paper. Let me go ahead and show you some more ideas. This one's just cut paper any way you want and it looks beautiful. Okay, there's this three combination of the long and the two short ones. And same thing with this one. Let's see, let's go ahead and do this. But, and then this, I turned it on its side and just made a sympathy card. Sometimes you can go ahead and take the stamp right onto the paper because it's a lighter color. So that's what I did on these, is just right onto the paper itself. And you don't have to worry about popping something up. Look at this, isn't this amazing? You're an artist instantly. If you don't have this designer series paper, the fancy floral six by six, and the painted texture 3D embossing folder, you need to get it. It's amazing. It makes you look like you're an artist. So check the links below and all the items are listed there if you'd like to order this from us. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.